806 this morning. Business is booming in downtown Simpsonville. We've gathered city documents to track it. That's right. Fox Carolina's Grace Runkel is live in downtown with a breakdown of the numbers. Grace, this has got to be good news for businesses down there. Absolutely, and kind of synonymous with all these new businesses popping up are these big, colorful murals. You can see one right behind me here. This is really helping bring in those uh, pedestrians, the foot traffic, kind of really helping to get people's attention. Another one of these murals is actually going in directly across the street. Uh, at the sidewall pizza and it's going to cost about $7,500. Now, the second part of all this is new businesses coming in. We found that business is in fact booming by looking through business license records. A business owner must apply for one of these every year. So this is a good way to gauge businesses coming and going. We compare the first three months of this year to the first three months of the past three years and look what we found. Far more licenses have been given out this year than in the past. So far, they totaled 260. 61. Now we spoke with one of the newer faces on the block. That's Shannon Hume. She's the owner of Coinophobic Boutique. She says they decided to move downtown last December after seeing so much more foot traffic. And she says now she's jumping on the bandwagon and she's decided to go ahead and make over the outside of her building too. This building has been run down and ugly and absolutely an eyesore. So I was like, you know, we're going to completely change it up and we're going to make it now the most iconic building in Simpsonville. And Hume is taking advantage of $5,000 grants that they're giving out to help uh, business owners renovate the outside of their businesses and work on the sidewall mural begins later today. The city says that it should be complete by June. Now coming up, it's not just the business owners and that are talking about those changes. We're also going to take you inside their stores so you can see firsthand how they're being impacted by all this new development. Back to you.